Hello and welcome to the second lesson of the unit of natural resource economics, where we'll focus on non-renewable resources. We will follow a pathway similar to those of the previous lesson, moving from a simple two-period model of natural resource extraction to a more complex, but also more interesting, multi-period model. The big difference is that in this lesson, we will arrive to assume a specific form of the demand function, and we will simplify the model omitting the production function. This will allow us to arrive to numerical results, although we'll, we'll still give them in a general parametric form, but at this point just replace the parameter for a numerical value with suffix in order to have a numerical result. With specific results on our hand, we will be able to compare different institutional arrangements, the benevolent dictatorship one we analyzed in the previous lesson, where a single entity can choose the levels of the control variables that maximize the welfare, versus the equilibrium obtained under competitive markets, where each individual firm maximizes its own profit, or under monopolies. We will then move on to a different kind of comparison, that is, what happened to the optimal extraction of natural resources path if we change one single parameter, for example, the size of available resources. This is called comparative dynamic analysis, and we will start, it will start putting us on track with real-world observed phenomena, like prices of natural resources that do not necessarily grow following the telling rule. The lesson will close with exactly this issue, that is, with a discussion of the appropriateness of the model in the real world, that is, a comparison of real-world observations against results we obtained in our model.